Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a fun mani using RCS custom nail dips. The first color here is going to be a chunky glitter and it is a beautiful pastel glitter. It has some chunky glitter mixed with fine glitter and some shards of glitter as well. And here is the beautiful color swatched. I just really like the pastel glitter in here. It's super pretty. And then the next color here is called Julie. And this color here is a beautiful UV changing dip and it also glows in the dark. So here is the color when you're indoors. It's a beautiful nude pink color. And then this is what the color looks like when you're in the sun. And this combo together is so pretty. So I really wanted to try the new trend, the Hailey Bieber glazed donut mani and I thought Julie would be the perfect color to try to achieve that glazed donut look. So, but we're going to change our mani up a little bit. What is really good with donuts is sprinkles. So when I saw a piece of cake, it reminded me of like funfetti sprinkles. So I thought pairing Julie for the glazed donut look and then doing a couple accent nails with piece of cake to get that sprinkle aspect into the mani was going to be perfect. So that is where I got the inspiration for this mani. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this mani process and I'll pop back in in a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. 
Alright, it's time to create that glazed donut effect. I already placed base coat on my nails and cured that for 30 seconds. And now we're going to go directly in with this little eyeshadow sponge brush. And we're going to dip it right into the Dip Powder Julie. And we're just going to go ahead and rub that into the nail. So make sure you're taking your time, making sure you're getting in between that cuticle line there and all your free edges. And then we're going to continue this step on all three nails. Now when you're chroming, if you get any of that chrome powder on your skin or over the cuticle line, not a problem at all. Just don't wipe that off until at the very end. We'll go in with a lint-free alcohol wipe after we do our gel base and our gel top coat and it's cured. Because if you wipe it before you do the gel base and the top coat, you're just going to wipe off that chrome powder that we just placed on the nail. All right, let's get back into the mani and I'll pop back in at the end. Alright, so we're just wrapping up the mani here and I'm going to go in with a lint-free alcohol wipe to remove any extra chrome powder that may be left on the skin. And I really like how this mani turned out. I think Julie is the perfect dip powder to create that glazed donut effect and I think piece of cake adds that little sprinkle touch that I was going for. So I'll link everything in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!